Here we go. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, but partially, so Oshawa is partially based on Jim Durant. Uh, just as Lena Inverse is partially based on Mae West. So those are all sort of like things that I'm, I'm a very like classic uh, Lena is a crack up every yeah. She's, yeah. <laughs> and she's, how do you find acting choices where you can only say the same like it, name it's over and over again? It, it's it's great. I've done other stuff since then. I've done video games that are babble and things like that. Mm -hmm. But you still, whenever you're doing Pokemon or creatures, you still have your intentions. You still have the ideas of what you're doing. You still know what you're saying. We've had episodes in Sun and Moon. We've had whole episodes where they go back and forth, just the Pokemon talking in dialogue. You have to be very clear about what you're saying, what you know. They still have personalities. They still have attitudes. And you're just kind of like, you know, it's expression and tone. Like if I said that, you're still kind of get the sense of what I mean. So you save that in and just add in a little bit of the creature stuff. I take my Pokemon very seriously. <laughs> Especially the creatures. I take them very seriously. Did you audition for Oshawa? Yes, I did. How I, often are auditions still done at a, at a um, studio? We do, uh, I do a lot of, um, for the round of the beginnings of all of that, when we first pick our starters, uh, when we have the, because you know like every every arc, we have all the new team that's From there. Set, you yeah. have the new starters, you have the new traveling party. So we usually have auditions for those. Um, we'll also have auditions for uh, characters usually that show up in the video games, things like that. We'll do auditions for those. Um, I will, if there's something that I have to find, I, I tend to know, I'll get to know the acting pool, I'll bring in for auditions if there's other things that happen, uh, if there's new things, and also if there's creatures, that if there's like Pokemon that I'm like, we gotta find something for this, I will bring people in and just kind of, usually I'll pull from other auditions that I've had, there is a big pool of people that I do know, like there's, you know, on both coasts who are aware of, but um, I'm always bringing in people. Um, sometimes I'll I'll bring in recommendation, recommendations from actors, from friends, people who've sent demos. I'll bring in people I've had classes with, like anything. Like, but I will, I usually will try to to do that as much as I can. Like um, this season, like I said, I think the count was somewhere between 86 and 96 actors wow. that we used wow. for this three for this three arc. I um yeah, I don't like I I did a lot of stuff early on. I will, <laughs> I directed all of them. I made a point of. There's a lot of stuff that I know I know people can do and I try to put them in and people who've been doing it obviously for a long time know how to do the creatures and everything very well. But I'm always trying to look and find new people. Okay, this is my last question. Yes, yes. Um, <laughs> because you mentioned like being able to direct everything like, with a new set of characters every season. Mm -hmm. Ever since I want to say black and white, the mm -hmm. series has gone through subtle and sometimes extreme style changes. Yes, it has. Has that affected your directing, the way you want characters to act each season, is there anything in particular that yeah. sticks out? Oh, totally cool. I mean, like, once we hit from XY, which got very, like, it was very, that was very anime, like, very, and it got a little darker over there, so we kind of, even even with Ash, we got into a little bit more of his internal struggles and things. Um, you, you go along with the style, once you hit Alola, like, Alola's big, it's bright, it's very slapstick on a lot of the comedy, but it has its real, like, moments there, so, yeah, so I definitely do, you know, work along with the style on that, and even when we did the, um, we did, uh, The Power of Us, and we did, um, the, uh... The I Choose You movie? Yeah, the I Choose You movie. I was working with the style that was there. I mean, The Power of Us art, which was by the same, um, the same... Or am I suddenly, my brain is just right. But the, the, the artwork that was on there, the same people who did Attack on Titan, and it was gorgeous. And so we, you know, it, I think it comes out also, work with really wonderful people. I bring it out, they bring it out, we work together, and you just wind up sort of marrying yourself to the style. But yeah, you get, yeah, with like Alola, you get just to be a little bit brighter and have a lot more fun with it, and I totally dig on that. And then my last question for yes. you is that uh, I attended your wonderful cabaret mm -hmm. oh, thank you. thing. Like, how would you say your uh, singing has influenced your anime career and vice versa? Like, um, well, I have done I have done some singing in various uh, shows that I have worked on. Um, my favorite is we did a show called Magical Do Re Mi, and I was like this blob who talked like this the whole entire time, and she had to sing. I love that. Uh, yeah, she was, she was fine. Um, but uh, but I think the musicality, the tone, it gets you to have a more um, 
you can sort of go brighter, bigger with a lot of things sometimes. Uh, it definitely keeps my range going. That's how I approach a lot of things with actors sometimes in the booth. We'll also, we do a lot of yelling, so we do a lot of vocal support that has to happen in there, so there's a lot of that that comes to it. But I think that sort of adds to the choices, and also a lot of times singers, and it, it's not a general, but singers and musical theater people will are very good because that's the sort of energy that they bring anyway. That's the kind of energy that we sort of bring to the show is is a very um, full singing, sort of like resonant, sort of almost stage energy is sort of what animation is. And that's usually what I teach too. Yeah. So. We probably have time for one more question. One more question. I haven't gotten to ask anything. Yeah. So. <laughs> um, Please ask your question. Um, going back to your story about the the soldier that gave you the yes. coin. So um, how has your like voice acting or your directing, how has your roles, your career in the industry of, um, influenced your charity work? Because I know you do animal yes. rescue and you helped, did, uh, worked with the relief for Puerto Rico. Yes, I did. I did. Um, I worked obviously like Puerto Rico, that is also my family is from there, so that's a good thing. But um, I have, we try to do what we can as far as that. There's a lot of times that we'll do posters, we'll do things within the city that we'll, um, we'll sign off on and I'll, I'll try. Like right now we have, we're doing a bunch of cast posters that we're signing and we're putting together a bunch, uh, a bunch of full cast posters aside for charity just in general. Sometimes we'll work with conventions, we'll work outside, but we'll work with conventions and give them pieces that we can and that sort of comes from the cast doing that. We've gone to... Um, one of our one of our guys, Roger, he's worked in, uh, I think it was like in hospitals, like work with people with cancer, things like that. And he's brought them kind of stuff with kids. Um, I try to do what I can. I know also that a lot of the cast is very hands-on. In a lot of other departments, also we have a lot of people who have autism in the cast, not in the cast, but like who have family members who have that, and that's something that we try and like work along with, or at least like talk, dealing with people. Um, I still would love to do more, like the uh, the animal the animal rescue thing that um, the fostering that we have, uh, that sort of came out of Sarah and I. We had uh, I don't know if you guys are familiar with Sun and Moon, but the episode where Lytton has its we with the um, scout work. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. And um, so she came in. Her cat of like ten years had just passed away. And um, I had had mine who had passed away before that, so I came in and I had to do the whole thing. And she's like, "Oh my gosh, I can't take this today." <laughs> That's what and, I was like, yeah. yeah, and we were and we were talking about that. You could feel the energy. Yeah, and it was really it, it wound up being a really emotional thing, and we bonded over that. She started because she couldn't take. Um, she didn't, she wasn't ready to take on to adopt. And I knew she started fostering, and. I realized that I hadn't opened up my home since then, and so her first set of fosters was four kittens. I took Aww. two of them. I still have them. Um, what are their names? Their names are Liddy, uh, after Litton, and Booty. Aww. It's just Boudica, but I sure. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She sort of she'll jump on you and she'll jump over there. So, so her name is fully Boudica, but I call her Booty because I like to have you know short <laughs> names. So that's them. But yeah, we do, I know a lot of people in the cast, we've done stuff for things or things like that, whatever we can do, we'll 